transformative flow, value method. This method tries to address the management of the three fundamental principles of production. It holds that, in production, the transformation, flow of production, and the value addition views must be balanced to bring out a unique outcome. It calls for the three views, that is, modeling, value addition, and transformation, to be attentively monitored while carrying out production, construction in specific. The methods bring more practical contributions of the production methods to production of quality outputs and use of the advancing technology. It is widely observed that, due to variability of production methods in construction, the intended task management degenerates into mutual adjustment by teams on site. Previous research shows that there are management problems associated with client decision, design management, and construction management. It is therefore possible to do away with no site work by use of prefabricated materials. The use of technology in construction, like the 3D design, last planner, and other construction automation techniques, can be used to reduce the time interval between different activities, so to produce the desired qualities of products. This theory is relevant to the production methods used in the construction industry, since professionals to address the current dilemma in the industry can use it. Lean method. Lurie Koskela put this theory forward in 1993. He argued that construction industry would benefit much from adopting the basic principles, technological advancement, and the lean manufacturing technique. According to Koskel, the adoption of these new approaches will help the construction companies eliminate the inefficiencies arising from replication, waste, and inefficient methods of production. Adoption of the lean manufacturing theory in the construction industry will help the professionals integrate the use of technology in the management of construction projects. Since production, management is concerned with the planning, resourcing, and controlling of the processes and procedures which are involved in converting raw materials into the finished products and the delivery of products to clients and customers. It can also be applied in the modeling and designing of building structures. As a move to improve labor productivity, reduce wastes and inefficiencies, and reduce cost of construction, a combination of basic principle, technology, and lean thinking can help professionals achieve this and satisfy the need of their customers. Construction companies can also partner, especially between contractors and subcontractors, to carry out their activities like production of all, or a percentage of, their building projects for a set time. A group of subcontractors is retained for a duration longer than just one one-off construction contract. The client benefits from the partnering approach by acquiring a team which will come to know their business and their construction requirements very well. Off-site production. The TVF theory can be linked with off-site production method that undergoes the process of structural designing, fabrication, and transportation of materials. This is because there is greater quality of materials produced and faster rate of work and general efficiency. The construction method includes use of technology, and innovation in the fabrication, manufacture of several building materials, integration of several optimized systems and inputs leads to the quality in designing, prototyping, and general uniqueness of out the built structures satisfying the customer needs. Project managers and professionals can use the method to bring improvements, value, and transformation to their products while still keeping the teams intact which in turn bring more productivity to the, their construction companies. It employs batch production, where standardized units of materials, batches, are produced to be used in the construction industry. It is very easy for managers to control the activities since they are specialized for specific products. Precast concrete. In modern buildings, precast concrete construction blocks are being used such that the components of buildings could be separately produced in factories and then assembled at the construction site to construct building. This method has several benefits for the construction industry and for society, such as reduction in costs, 
lesser inconvenience to neighbourhood and fast construction processes. One method used for making precast building blocks involves the creation of hollow forms and filling of sand inside at the construction site. Another method used on construction sites is the use of in situ concrete in which, instead of sand, a liquid is poured into forms at the construction site. Some of these methods make way for construction of unique infrastructure at the cost of environmental impacts, while others also make a consideration of sustainability of building in addition to the appearance and modernization of construction. Some of the new trends observed in the construction arena include single design model. There is a shift from a model to every single phase involved in engineering and construction to a single model for the entire design. It leads to better coordination and also results in major savings related to the time and money. Materials. The approach of usage of materials and the choice of the same has also seen some of the major changes in the recent past. For instance, more energy saving and environment friendly material are being used for construction projects in modern buildings now. Energy efficiency. Energy consumption is given special attention while executing construction projects. Production methods can be used in modern buildings for improving environmental conditions at a global level. Permanent modular construction. Modular construction is the popular demand of customer looking for flexibility and ease of application. It provides the capability to build and expand later on rather than building all at once. Modifications are also easy to implement in such type of construction. However, considering the environmental concerns raised by the construction industry initiatives, it would be important to understand how these new methods of construction can impact the environment and sustainability aspects in construction of buildings. A method called revegetation of concrete has been used on projects for reducing the environmental impacts of these concrete productions. A study has explored how this method has affected the environmental impact of construction in case of a pre-cast retaining wall that could be useful in understanding the potential of the method. Revegetation method involve production of hollow precast concrete boxes that are filled with soil at the construction sites. The study had found that environmental damage caused by the retained wall using this method was 35% lesser than the wall that was constructed using ready-mixed concrete. The benefit is not only seen in the environmental protection, but also for the construction business, as the costs of concrete production was also reduced because of the use of hollow significantly. Advantages of modern methods meeting of customers' needs. In the modern methods of construction, customers have the opportunity to outline their specifications slash needs. The project is outlined in such a way that each activity has someone monitoring the activities. This leads to production of unique products, thus enhancing customer satisfaction. The method is therefore considered very effective in achieving the customer needs. Well-organized process. Modern production methods are well organized into phases. Each phase has a time limit and cost allocated to it. This helps in achieving high quality construction products as well as full utilization of resources. As buildings are constructed in situ with blocks produced in factories and then assembled at site, the construction becomes fast. Modern methods have been developed considering the sustainability aspects there were missing in traditional buildings. In modern methods, the construction projects use modern technologies like BIM that allows project teams to understand the sustainability of building even before construction, so that the best design can be formulated before actual construction begins. Some modern construction methods, like building information modeling, and others can be useful in various ways, such as fast construction, energy saving, and so on. Limitation of modern methods. The key goals of project managers, professionals, and designers are to implement production theories in the construction industry. This is aimed at reducing the inefficiencies, waste, and high cost of construction. However, there have been several challenges that affect the implementation of these theories. 
These have resulted in continued customer non-satisfaction and risks of losing the profits and potential customers. The challenges include variability in customer needs. In one-off production methods, every customer has a unique need to be satisfied in terms of design, time limits, and materials to be used in construction. Meeting all the customer's needs may involve the use of modern theories of construction, like the lean manufacturing. However, the use of one theory alone may control one aspect, like waste minimization, output quality, but may be unable to control cost.